Low code is the combination of code and no code. It's somewhere in the middle. Here is a perfect example. Last week, I hosted a call taking questions about Glide. On that call, I met Eric and I asked Eric about his experience with Glide and no code. What's your background with Glide? I started probably about a year and a half ago using Glide. I really have no experience coding, so I'm a good story. I'm running my own business and I made the software for the business. I did the development of the software and I'm running the company. So Eric, having no coding experience at all, was able to use a no code app and website builder to develop a software that is now his full-time business. That is awesome. But Eric needed to do a few things that Glide did not support. So he leveraged some code. Specifically, he started using Google app scripts, which is a way to write JavaScript behind a Google but he started to see some frustrations with that custom code. So now he's in the process of trying to move as much as he can off of that custom code and into more no code solutions. I've been going off the of app script into Integra Matt, but like the app script still remains as a nice tool to use. Run this without having to necessarily trigger something through a web hook. I'd say app script's still very important to me, but I don't like crutch on it to actually connect the dots. Yep, those can get hairy. <laughs> it's not as it's not as clean as no code. So you would be using what is called a you have a, a low code platform. Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, let's break this down. So we all know what code is. This is how traditionally we build apps, websites, software. We're typing out letter for letter. This is what all the nerds do on the movies. Then what we have now, we're moving away from code and now we're introducing and we're getting into this no code era where we're building software without actually having to write the code. We're using other people's software to build our software. Think of a website builder. We're dragging and dropping things point and click. That's no code. But we run into this issue where sometimes we can't do everything we wanna do on somebody else's platform. There's something specific to our use case that we just can't do. So this is the ideal scenario. Since we can't use 100% no code, we're not gonna abandon no code altogether. Rather, let's build what we can with no code to so say 90% no code. And then that little bit extra that we need to actually custom code Let's just add that in there and string everything together. Then we have this low code solution. It's 90% no code plus 10% custom code. And this gives us low code. So next time someone asks you, what is low code? You can tell them it's no code with a little bit of custom code. If you wanna get a good taste of what low code can look like, I want you to check out this video. In that video, I built a no code website using Glide Pages. But in that no code website, there is a little bit of code, specifically some HTML tags to style some text and center it. That'd be a great first place to start on your journey of using no code and low code. So go ahead and check out that video now. Thanks for watching. Cheers and happy coding.